now from downtown Cleveland and Progressive Field. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Cleveland Guardians. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Shane Bieber. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, this guy featuring that straight forcing fastball, but off of it throws the cutter. And really, he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the forcing fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second, so hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. Marcus Simeon stands in here, takes ball one low. First pitch, one o'clock. Here comes a pitch. And this one in the mix. This guy at the dish excels in two straight counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And here's Corey Seager to hit. The shortstop takes the ball. One, no strike. Go ahead, run it first. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. The next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Three ball, no strike. to a board base knock and now a free pass this has the makings of a big inning and they can get a couple more quality of bats here's a big power threat Adolis Garcia outfield playing very deep not wanting anything over their heads and that one fouled off Simeon at second. Seeger on at first with nobody out. Swings through that. Quickly in an 0-2 count. You want to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere. Then you got a chance. In the air, right field. Loriano settles under it. And there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Digging in, Evan Carter. First pitch misses. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Two on, one out. Close, but call the ball. Two and oh. Right to the plate. That hey. one's in there. Now two balls and a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone.
Righty delivers. Fouled off. He was late. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Two down. That's it. The third base number six. John Young. Here's Josh Young. This at bat might not seem like a huge deal right now, but baseball is a game of moments, and what happens here could change everything. And a strike. Owen one. That one finds the zone, and it's on two. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Right-hander kicks deals. Aye. Struck him out looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Now the Guardians will get their shot, still scoreless. Back here in Cleveland, and today's starting pitcher, Nathan Evaldi. What do you got on him, Chris? It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, come fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. The pitch. He immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Ivaldi, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a slider. Yeah, nope, there's a ball. The ball. And strike two. two. One ball, two strikes. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Left hand hitter waits. Three. Got him looking. And one away. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way. Coming from that opposite arm angle. So I gotta think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Here's Andres Jimenez. That one ripped. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Round second. Digging for third. Throw is high and over his head. He'll make it up to third, and I'm sure that'll be an error of the outfielder. He didn't smoke that ball, but he didn't have to, man. When you're working the ball gap to gap, there's so much open space out there. So I think that knock was all about his approach and that willingness to just let the ball get deep on it. So one gone with a runner at third. Here's Jose Ramirez. Hey. Right through there for a strike. And here it comes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And a pitch. One and ball, one and two. Two strike. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Runner on at third, one gone.
swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one back there. Gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. down the middle I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch but once he did was quick enough to get it in play with some authority he got that up and out of here here's Josh Naylor and first offering is fouled off One down, base is empty. And that one sliced foul. And the righty deals. And that one is inside ball one. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kawhi to kick the pitch. Next offering misses down and away. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So a man aboard now with one away. That is good. L'Oreal comes up to hit. There's a strike. Not one one. close with that one. And now it's even one and one. Man at first, one away. And another ball. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Helpful. In the dirt, no advance. Good job behind the dish. Naylor stands at first with one out. and deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. At the belt, and fires. And he walked it. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out a guy at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. Bo Naylor at the plate now. First pitch, and he just misses. No one no. missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate. It's going to bring in some runs. Tough 
tough start for him so far already at 30 pitches here in the first. Pitch misses three and one. Swing it a foul straight back. Three and two now. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And he grabs it foul. Outside and that is ball four. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy who wants to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. And now here is Will nope. Brennan. Close, but called the ball. Count, and, and it's one to know. Line drive. Makes the grab. Two down. Not again. Not sure. Here's Not the fun. Guardians lineup now. Here's Brian Riccio. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And the pitch. The other way. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. Jose Ramirez with the homer here. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Here in Cleveland, Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. And a foul ball. Ball to strike. And downstairs. And another ball. The wind of the pitch. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And here is Jonah Heim. Just missed. Kicks and fires. I see you win. I got a ball, one strike. The Rangers down by a pair here at the top of the second. And ball another three. ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And that one is lifted in the air. Straw getting an angle on it. He's got it. One down. Here's Leody Tavares. Tavares getting the start in center. 25 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. the outside corner with that one low at first one gone flips the corner 
Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it, and that's important because you got to make players earn it. The ball next one. offering misses. Now one, one ball, and two. two. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. That's, That's down and in. no errors and no one left we go to the bottom of inning number two it's the Guardians two and the Rangers nothing back now at progressive field bottom of the inning and now the center fielder the center Miles field. Straw singing you gotta appreciate a guy who's this good defensively I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That ball just one. misses. Ball one. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Seeger sends it across the first and quickly one away in the second. No Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. 0 for 1 after striking out looking to start the game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. One out, base is empty. The one, two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Ball. And that's downstairs and outside. Two, Two strikes. Fly ball down the line. And that lands in no man's land. A foul ball. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Pulls it in for the out. Two away down. Now battle. The second, the second baseman, baseman. Andres. Andres. He Two better. outs, base is empty. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. One for one, he tripled in his first trip. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And, and he deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Guardians fail to score, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Back here with my we pal Ziggy, top half of the but third inning. Really now here's the Rangers Ezekiel. DH, Ezekiel Duran. Bieber back to work. 
Oh, oh one there. Bunting for a hit. Toss to Naylor. Got him trying to bump for a hit. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield is back right there, and that's pretty much a gimme for a blunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. Simeon, the next to hit, takes ball one. For Marcus Simeon, probably the biggest adjustment and improvement he's made has been on defense. Simeon made 35 errors as a shortstop in 2015 with the Oakland A's. And by the time 2021 came around, he won a gold glove with the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Foul ball there. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. And that keeps the inning alive. Now back. That ball was blasted, Boog, and as broadcasters, we can go weeks without seeing a ball hit 115 miles per hour, which is what StatCast tells us there. Man, he really got the bat through the zone and did not get cheated. Yeah, that ball was absolutely smoked. Yeah, the batter oh. now, Adolis Garcia. The Rangers trailing by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next That's offering ball, upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Nope. Next inside. pitch inside, and it's 3-0. and And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Naylor makes the grab, and that is that. Rangers leave one. They trail things here, 2-0. Set for the bottom of the third, now it's Jose Ramirez. The third baseman. And the right-hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. You know, these Guardians did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Clobber to right field, way back. It's 3-0. Pitchers hate going against Jose Ramirez because he tends to punish the baseball. This is just the latest example of it. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And now it's Josh Naylor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here in the last half of the third. Here's a line drive to left field. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The right field, number 10. Bravo. 
Laureano. Here's Ramon Laureano. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Nope, First offering down. and it just misses. It is interesting though when you consider the way the game is run now doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. That's ripped. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now Patrick. Here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. He reached out a walk his first time. Nope. Ball one, That's no strikes. Bad. Loriano on the move. There's a ball. Throw to second. Ow! You know, sometimes a throw that bounces into second base can be just as good as a perfect throw in the air. It's almost a little bit easier to handle at second base. For me, that caught stealing right there was all about a really poor jump off first. Just didn't time it well. And he was toast after that. Two outs, base is empty. And that's a strike. Thank and you. it skips in the dirt. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. Inning over. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. And we're back. Leading John Chompy with Chris Singleton, Singleton the and left set left to left lead left off the fourth, left Evan Carter. Evan Carter. Let's go, Cleveland. The pitch. That catches the corner. All right, Siggy, trivia time. Back when this ballpark opened, 1994, one future Hall of Famer hit the first triple in the park, and another hit the first homer by a Cleveland player. Think you know who they were? Okay, I know that Ken Griffey Jr. hit the first triple here, but first homer for Cleveland. Uh, give me a hit. Switch hitter. That's all you're getting. Oh, dude. Eddie Murray, no doubt. Bam! Josh Young will hit next. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Hits the top of the wall. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll make it safely. That's a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. What a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And it's second with one away. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Out towards left center. Quan heads after it. Two down. The catch number 28, Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. 
Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, Aye. and this guy always seems to deliver oh, in those count. spots. And it's second. Slider oh, misses forward. outside. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. That you one away inside. One. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. When you played, did you play with guys that you thought were clutch and sort of what were the attributes you said that's what he possesses that allows him to come through? Well, we always used to joke, you know, guys want to eat steak, and there were some that just had tosses to first, and that is the inning. One hit, one left. To the bottom of inning number four now. Guardians three, and the Rangers nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four at the play. Will Brennan. As he turns on the rubber, you know, with that good live arm delivers. You think back to 2017, and Cleveland set a major league record. 22 consecutive wins they had. It was capped off with a 10-inning walk-off win. Pretty amazing streak and a big part of the history of this yard. It gets down, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Boog, and I remember early in that season covering them and talking to their no staff problem, and players, system. and they didn't feel You're like they had really clicked yet. Yeah. Now, when I went back to do some research, oh, looking yeah. at metrics like base runs, I realized they weren't scoring runs at the rate in which nope. the data was saying they should be at. So the numbers were saying it was just a matter of time until they would take off. Little did we know that it would convert into a 22-game winning streak, and it took the baseball world by storm. I love when you talk nerd to me. Two oh. balls, no strikes to count. Riding to the plate. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. First and second now with nobody out. The center fielder, number seven, Miles. Stepping up for the Guardians, Miles Straw. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And that one clips the corner. side could be two off balance feet there's one not Good. in time at first it's a fielder's choice Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians no left field fouled off to the right Ivaldi checks the runner, and he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Two on, one out. And a foul ball. The beauty of his skill set as a pitcher is the break in his stuff doesn't go away when he's tired. I mean, his pitches always seem to have life. Just doesn't matter if it's early or late. He doesn't make it easy for the batter. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it now wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed oh, earlier in the at bat. Just came yeah. right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And there's a foul ball. Well, if he's going to steal second, 
You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Corners are occupied with two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two on, two outs. Outside. Got him swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Here in Cleveland, and yeah, the batter now, Leody Tavares. Leody Tavares. The wind in the pitch. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Well, these Rangers looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, Aye. no doubt. And him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that people like to now describe that, as a that, hammer that, or that, Uncle Charlie. That, and you can see why. It's Durant. not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. The Guardians leading by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. Down the line. Loriano trying to get there. Great catch. Foul ground up against the wall. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one out to right. Loriano makes the catch inning over. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. Home half of the fifth coming up. Guardians three and the Rangers nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So in now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. The third baseman. And here it comes. Right through there for a strike. You know, these Guardians the digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your back. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Touches down. That's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now that first base Naylor. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. One for two. in there one one nailer in his fifth season 26 years old and he was born in Canada breaking hey. ball in there for a strike up and in and it's one and two one ball. pretty standard high O2 fastball right there if you're smart We'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Boog gets talked about a lot. But a good high fastball in a two-strike situation. It's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. 
0 oh, 1 now. And there he goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Well, you can get away a little bit with not being so accurate when you've got such a great arm and you get rid of it quickly. And that's what happened right there. He made up for the lack of accuracy with excellent velocity. Nice job with the catch and throw right there. The pitch. That misses. And a count one and two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires to first on the run, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. Guardians three, and the Rangers nothing. All set for the top of the six. Seeger stands in now. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. That's There's a, a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And in one hops the wall. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. First pitch misses. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. That's inside. And that's ball two. Pulls that one foul. And it's second. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A gigantic blast. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 3-2. an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the power to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel he got a great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here Carter in the box now takes strike one Righty delivers. Quick. Off the plate. Going to count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Oh, and there's a the ball. The Guardians up by a run, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. In plenty of time to first, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Young.
Still only one out here in the inning. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Swings through that one for strike two. One down, base is empty. Base and misses, it's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swing and strikeout. Next up for Texas, Nathaniel Lowe. And that one fouled off. Now fly ball to right center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back down for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Yeri Rodriguez. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Bo Naylor getting ready to hit. For the Guardians. The catcher. Bo and the pitch. That catches the zone for a strike. And it's 0-1. hit out of the center field and the leadoff man aboard everything came together for him 112 miles per hour the ball seemed to explode off the bat right there he put everything together on that swing so that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet so man aboard there goes the runner that one the other way and that's a fair ball and now runners at the corners nobody out No pattern number six. And up next for Cleveland, Ryan Rocchio. There's a strike. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next nope. offering Ball is downstairs. One. He was looking to come one. up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. Cleveland up around looking for more. Whoa, and now two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The two one. Whoa, Just right missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. He's got to throw any pitch at any count. 3 2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Stepping up for the Guardians, Miles Straw. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Slapped foul. Two on, one out. One ball, two strikes. And that one in the air center field. 
He's got it. Runner tagging and heading for home. He's in on the sacrifice fly. And they lead by two. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack no fly. Idea. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. Checks over to first, back safely. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. That's in there. Oh, with two now. Brennan off of first with two away. Foul ball still low and two. Big stop center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more no. barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And another oh, ball. No First and second, two down. The two one. Two ball, two strike. Chases in the dirt, slider there. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him, and that's that. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We're through six full. Guardians four, and the Rangers two. Here in Cleveland, we go to the top of the seventh. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Wouldn't chase that time. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. And a pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Quan pulls that one down, and there's one away. The now it's going to be Leody Tavares. And that one wrapped foul. Good eye right there. And another ball. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. And a foul ball left side. The pitch. Got him. That's the second out. Two strikes. Many times hitters looking out over the plate. When you're looking out over the plate, you're also going to let the ball travel a little bit longer. And a fastball zipped on the inside corner just locks you up. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. 
Hey. Right through there for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Emmanuel Classe, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Stefan also getting ready. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a ball in two strikes. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Quan snags it, and that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. The line to kick the pitch. Baseball in for a strike. It's 0-1. That's a strike across the top of the zone. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. And the right-hander deals. Line drive. Caught. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third basemen are just used to handling hot shots like that. Josh Naylor digs in now. One for three. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. 0 and 1. Ground ball to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Ramon Laureano digs in for the Guardians. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Naylor, the base runner at first with one out. And he finds a corner. And it's 0-2. 0-2 count. Both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking... I don't want to get beat oh, here. This is a good time for something off speed away. In the air, left field. Carter under it. He's there. He's got it. And there are two down. Now, Hunter. Catch her. Bo Naylor now at the plate. I pitch in for a strike. Going one. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. That one off the mark. One and two to count. Breaks and misses. It's a strikeout. Guardians lead one, but they still lead this one four to two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Scott Barlow. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And a pitch. Simeon at the plate now. That's ball one. One and oh. Check. 
just nope. missed. That's hey. in there. to the pitch and another ball Great. swings throw it in that's a strikeout that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone and he got him to chase that's just a bad approach right there either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation but man really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch Seager batting with one down takes a strike Barlow a 6-3 righty 210 pounds and he was a 6th round draft pick Back in 2011. Late on that fastball. Oh, just threw that fastball oh, down yeah. elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very yeah. difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The Rangers down by a pair, and we're in the top of the eighth. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He recognized the rotation of the baseball out of the hand, stayed tall on the backside, and crushed that pitch the other way. And now, Adolis Garcia. Sliced hard, but foul. In the air, right field. Right there is Loriano. Snags it for the second out. The left under number 32, Evan Carter. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. Splits the plate. Oh, and one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Tap to first, and he grabs it in foul ground. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Two that one almost got him. Ripped on a line. Loriano settles under it and makes the catch. And that'll do it. One left for Texas. Still down by a count of four to two. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now the DH, Will Brennan. The designated hitter. And he deals. To the right side, and that chance handled. Tosses to first, one up, one down. No batter no number six. six. Shortstop, Ryan. Ryan Rocchio digs in for the Guardians. Just missed. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And a couple of quick outs. Up next to Cleveland. The center field. Miles Straw digs in for the Guardians. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Oh, 
been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. Garcia brings it in for the third out. So they make short work of them there. Through eight full, Guardians four and the Rangers two. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. Power slider guy, bro. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Josh Young getting ready to hit. The pitch. Just off the inside edge. Fouled off. He was late. Smash towards center. And that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now Up next for the Rangers, Nathaniel Lowe. And fouled off. The tying run at the plate. Chop on the right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. And the righty deals. Close one doesn't get the call. And a count one and two. Almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. In the dirt. In there. He's safe. He's into second easily on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. As a closer, he's out there in that role for a reason. But even they lose the handle on one here and there, especially with all the nasty stuff coming out of bullpens these days. He's making it a little interesting here. With the tying run at the plate, here are the top of the night. him looking and he didn't like the call. So next to hit for Texas, Jonah Heim. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. And that one fouled off. Tying run at the plate. Hard ground ball, base down. Around third, the throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So up next, Leody Tavares. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. First pitch just misses. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make it work to get this save. At the belt and fires. There's a strike up high. And a count even at one. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Two balls, one strike. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And all two and two. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. 
And just misses with that one. Ezekiel Duran to bat next. One run game here at the top of the ninth. This one lifted in the air, left field. Quan in and to his right, and it's caught for the out. Now back at the designated hit. Ezekiel. So they're down to their Duran. final out. Now here is Ezekiel Duran. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Fought off foul. Classe is just one strike away. Slider misses outside. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Lift it to left, and this should do it. And that'll do it. The Guardians hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, not all saves come easy, but he didn't let things unravel. Good win for the team today.